Hey guys, so today I'm going to make um, Hiyashi Chuta, and it's a really nice cold noodle dish. You'll see it a lot um, in Japan during the summertime, probably only during the summertime the restaurants will serve it. And it's more like a kind of like a noodle salad dish. So on top there is, you can put a variation of things, um, anything from cold cut hams to um, maybe turkey or chicken, shrimp, anything you like, um, any kind of vegetables like carrots, um, moyashi, what else? I put cucumbers on it. Hmm. Um, you can put even like tomatoes on it, I don't know, maybe like enoki. Also it's accompanied with um, strips of omelette and you can put uh, beni shoga on it or um, some wakame. And it's just topped with green onions and nori strips and sesame seeds and the sauce is pretty much just a soy sauce base which is what I like. Um, you can make it with many types of noodles. I make it with soba noodles. What you're supposed to make it with is chikaman noodles, which is the kind of yellow, yellowy, medium thick Chinese chewy noodles. Um, you can use soba noodles or udon noodles. Um, I think in the store you can probably find the prepackaged hiyashi chuka, which comes with the uh, the two types of dressing, there's probably a sesame dressing and a soy-based dressing. I like the soy-based dressing. That's just um, what I grew up with. My mom would always make this dish during the summer, so yeah. So if you guys are interested in um, wanting how to learn how to make that, then just continue watching. Alright guys, these are two different brands of soba noodles and I'm going to show you why you don't let a white person buy soba noodles because this is the one that my dad bought and this is the one that my mom bought. Now this one, I don't even know why they um, produce this thing because it is complete crap. Alright, so I'm going to add the Japanese brand on the right and this is the, I'm not sure, I think this might be a Korean brand. We'll see how it turns out. Now you don't really need to cook these for a long time. And look at that, see it already broke. Can't even pick it up without it breaking into little tiny pieces. And this is why you don't let a white person buy soba noodles. So I'm just gonna add one bundle of the soba noodles and cook it for about five minutes. So I cooked the soba for five minutes and I um, ran it under cold water. Now you don't want to do that with pasta because you want to keep the starch on the pasta so the sauce adheres to the pasta but with the soba I just wanted to cool it down so it wouldn't uh, keep on cooking and I'm just going to add a nice oopsie, I'm going to add a nice um, soy sauce base sauce to it. Now you can also have the soba just like this with um, nori and just a nice dipping sauce and green onions and that would be zaru soba. So I'm just going to add one egg. So all you need is really just um, a flat omelet. I usually roll it but I don't know why I didn't do it this time. So you just want to cut into strips. And you just want your little egg strips to look like that. Alright, so I just have some old-fashioned ham and I'm gonna cut these into strips as you well. You can roll it up and cut it, or you can cut it however you like. Just thin strips. So I'm just gonna add um, half a cup of water. Actually, this is just gonna be kind of like a free pour, kind of taste it until it tastes right. Um, now you can add, what I'm doing with this is just water, um, dashi powder, soy sauce, and um, a little bit of sesame oil for taste, but um, if you like you can add um, rice wine vinegar to it, or um, sugar, or whatever you like, but this is how my mom used to make it, so. Alright, so I'm just going to add some dashi. You don't really need to heat the sauce, just um, enough to dissolve the dashi. And so now I'm going to add some soy sauce. Mm. 
And to me that tastes good. Um, and I'm gonna add some hot sesame oil. You can add just plain regular sesame oil. Yeah, and that tastes good. So all you need to do is just wait till this cools. You can put it in the fridge for a little bit and then you're... All right guys, this is everything you need to assemble the dish. You got your cucumbers, your julienne ham, your wakame, which I just um, softened in the dashi sauce when it was um, hot. You got your eggs, um, nori, which I just cut up from the large maki rolls or sorry, the large sheets that you use for the maki rolls. I have beni shoga and just some chopped green onions. And that is the final, oh wait, shit. You probably want the sauce to go with it. And that is the final dish. A really nice summer dish that Japanese love to eat. Oh my god, you guys, you know what makes me so, so angry is when I take the LRT to get to the university and I spend 10 minutes trying to find a park parking spot. And I finally find one, and I'm like, yes, score! And I go there, and there's a friggin' smart car or a, or a motorcycle. What the hell? What the hell? They don't deserve a spot. They do not deserve a spot, okay? And then I can't find one, so I try to go back, and then stupid CN tra train comes and blocks me for like five minutes, so I'm already late. Now I need to go into the residential area and park, and there's this lady who already hates me for parking there. I mean, it's not my fault, is it? I mean, you live by an LRT station, so you're gonna expect people to park there, and it's not like I park there when you come home anyways, right? Anyways, I had to move my car like a couple times because she was like eyeing me, she's like, I see you, and I'm like, man, don't keep my car. Yeah, oh, and if we're talking about parking spots, what is the deal with people at Walmart? Like, when it snows, it's like the lines, the parking lines, they disappear or something, and people start angle parking and like parking in crazy ways, and I'm like, yo, there's lines underneath the snow, okay? Like, what is the deal with people? Spend the 10 damn seconds and park your car properly because the sales are not gonna vanish in those 10 seconds. I can do it, you can do it.